You know, we are uh, contemplating the hair on your chinny chin chin this All morning. All right, CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live in Lincoln Square, where one of the oldest apothecary shops in the nation is expanding to meet the needs of millennials. Hi, Vince. That's right. Coming close, I'm going to show you something. I didn't bother to shave this morning, left all that bristle on my face this morning. And the reason is I've come to where MERS Apothecary has expanded right next door, uh, and they've got hundreds of different brushes and, and razors and, and ways to lather up your face. They are calling it the Q Brothers Men's Shop, and that's because uh, Anthony Quayum, who actually is uh, one of the Q Brothers, is here that's with correct. us this morning. Yeah. Okay. I, why is it that everyone's getting so excited about paying more attention to their beards, like your great beard there, and, and shaving? Um, well, I think there's been a return to classic grooming. So I think people are realizing whether they want to grow a beard, a mustache, or be clean shaven, that it just makes sense to focus on good tools and things that are permanent and enjoyable. And you certainly have them here. It's called wet shaving, yeah. the whole process, That's right. right? So what are the tools that we might need? Now, naturally, we start with brushes, and they have different kinds of bristles, right? Correct. So badger bristle is sort of the classic standard. It comes um, from a badger, right? It comes from okay. a badger. And then there are synthetic and a few other different types of bristles. So it's really friendly for everyone. And then here's sort of like this is the classic razor that I don't think I'd ever try to shave <laughs> with. I, yeah, I think if you want to do that, you want to allow a lot of time. So it's not for everyone. <laughs> and but I think this is a good set here too, yeah, right? Yeah, I think a double-edged razor is what we see more and more guys going toward. And that is, uh, you know, the old-fashioned safety razor where you drop in the razor blade. And there's a few reasons. It's more environmentally friendly. It's a lot of packaging. It saves a lot of money. And it gives a great shave. You get rid of all those bumps around the neck. I'm old enough to remember that nick in my face as a <laughs> teenager. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, you showed me how to work up a lather here. This is yeah. a shaving bowl, right? Yeah, correct. So you've got a lather we started, so you could use it. But the idea is you take a wet brush. I pre-wet this one. And you're going to start building it in, in a bowl. And you can see it just lathers up. And the idea behind that is when you actually have water and lather together, you build up a great lubrication on the face. Okay, that I'm going to get it on my fly. face, yeah. and then guess what, guys? I'm going to shave. You can see how clean I got it a little bit later on in our next report. Anthony, thank you so much. My pleasure. Oh, this feels good already. <laughs> Here, Chris, here's some for you. I'll take some. Yeah, it's a whole art to that. I bet they're very no popular idea. after Movember. Yeah. A lot of people probably flocking there. Five